Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. I designed it to mimic the artwork in this tattoo. I don't know the artist who did this. Uh, I was just scrolling through and trying to find like cool calf geometric circle-y tattoo designs to mimic in my artwork that actually says stuff. This is just, you know, pretty circles. Anyway, with that being said, how this says stuff. Um, <laughs> so it was done using Lauren Sherman's fan-made Gallifreyan script, which uses a combination of dots and lines on these four different stems to make the letters, and then vowels are smaller circles or located outside our word circle, or located if they're A's, they're outside. E's on the line, say with I's and U's and O's inside. Anyway, um, makes most sense and practiced. Anyway, you read the script bottom counterclockwise, so let's go ahead and look at the bottommost thing. So here we have our word circle, and on the word circle, there is one small vowel with a line going towards the middle, so that is an I. So it's done on the line of the word circle, which this is the word circle line, word circle line. I has a line going towards the center of the word circle. So yes, this is an I. And here's our next word. Here's the bottom of it, going counterclockwise. Here's our first letter stem. It is this uh, deep divot or omega stem, which is more than 50% completed. And there's three dots on it, one, two, three. And here we have a little circle. So it's a vowel, and it's located inside our word circle. So if this is a word circle line, this is outside. Only the O is inside, so by itself it looks like that. So D-O, and here we have our next stem. Now the line thicknesses in this design do not matter at all whatsoever, so these dashed lines and dotted lines, it's all just start stylistic artistic choices. So here we have this uh, circle inside our word circle, so this again is the word circle line, and this stem is inside it, so it's like word circle line stem inside it. That's this stem, and there's one line coming from it. So that is an N, continuing around, we make the punctuation visible. Okay, um, coming around, we have this extending away from our, uh, our word circle, attaching to the outside, and it is going towards what would be a word circle, but there's no real word circle on this. This is kind of like the word circle, I mean sentence circle, which is where you'd put punctuation, but um, an apostrophe is a double line, so here's two lines. So this is the double apostrophe line, ending not again here, otherwise it would be like an apostrophe O and an apostrophe O. Anyway, this is the apostrophe, the double line, and then we have our last stem, so it's this 50% or less completed circle with nothing on it, so that's a T, so I don't. And again, this was just the apostrophe. Here's our next word circle. This dashed line, which is kind of like an added thing to keep, you know, this circle in one visual plane and also to kind of like mimic that bit <laughs> and it doesn't interfere with anything so anyway let's go ahead and look at this word here's the bottom word uh, stem so it is this 50% uh, or le uh, less completed divot with one line ending on it two lines ending on it now lines that pass through it do not count so only this one ending on it and this one ending on it counts so just two lines ending on that makes it a W here we have um, a smaller circle relative to this stem so if you're looking at the scale of this stem, it would be a circle, you know, this big, and this uh, stem is much smaller than that, plus it's outside the word circle and enclosed on a consonant, so it has to be a vowel. So if we were to continue the word circle line, it would brush right there, so this is outside of the word circle. So that makes it an A, hanging outside the word circle. So again, it would just brush the bottom of it, and it's located outside the word circle. So here's that A, continuing around. Here's our next stem. This is just a decoration line continuing from here. But anyway, continuing around. Here is our next stem. It's a circle inside the circle. Like this again with another one line. So that's another N, just like this N. And we have our last stem. It's a T, just like this T. So want. And here's our next word. Here is just the one stem. And this is a 50% or less completed stem. It's just been mostly clipped off. Um because it's got a big old vowel on it, which again, still relatively smaller than the stem, uh, makes that an O. So like T, O there. So this is just a T and an O on it. So that's two. Then our last word, here's little omega with one line on it, G, O. And then we have dot, dot, dot. So periods are on the line of the word circle, which again, meh, there's no real word circle in this. Um, so I'm guessing that, you know, 
it just also kind of makes sense and fills in the, the design, but a dot, 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 dot. So I don't want to go, dot, dot, dot. I don't want to go. Um, yeah, so that's that design. It's pretty neat. Woo.